The company helped popularize the light bulb and the microwave. In recent years, General Electric was known less for its technology and more for its forays in television, real estate, and finance. But the financial crisis prompted GE to get back to its innovation roots. The company has made big investments in renewable energy programs like solar panels and batteries for energy storage. We visited GE's global research lab just outside Albany, New York, to see how serious GE is about its R&D spending. So, Glenn, where are we here? Hey, so we're at GE's global research center. And this is one of our facilities that we do testing of our, our sodium metal halide batteries. So what you're seeing behind us here are racks of, of individual cells that we're testing. We subject them to different use profiles, and that allows us to simulate how long the batteries will last and how well they'll perform under different applications. How is this battery different from like a lithium-ion battery or some of the batteries that are currently right. on the market? Where our battery, the sodium metal halide battery, is different, it's it's much better at storing a lot of energy in a small space economically. At GE's Solar Research Lab, Danielle Murfeld heads a team looking to make panels thinner and more energy efficient. So, what are your big challenges right now? What are you guys working on? What we're working on is a thin film, and there's a lot of different thin films. This one is made of cadmium and tellurium. So we want to make sure that we scale this up and we can get as good on a small scale as we can on a large scale. So it's all about translating the process. We also know that there's some ways to make it cheaper from a manufacturing perspective. While Murfeld's team is working on a new energy source, GE is also betting that they can make clean coal work where others haven't. So what's going on here? So what's happening now is that uh, Matt McKenna, one of the, the folks on our, our CO2 capture team, is actually uh, doing an extraction. But in general, uh, he's looking at some new chemistries and new materials for CO2 capture. So what we're looking to do is find a solvent-based material or a liquid material that's actually on exposure to CO2 in a flue stack will turn into a solid and from there it gets transported into a desorption chamber where it's heated, CO2 is released and then brought to a sequestration site and the solvent gets regenerated in a liquid form so it goes from a liquid to a solid back to a liquid and then gets regenerated back into our, our absorption apparatus or the flue stack. And the goal is ultimately to make these technologies uh, commercial. That's exactly right. You know, it's going to benefit not only GE, but also the, uh, the entire world because we'll be able to decrease the amount of carbon being uh, emitted into the atmosphere, and that's going to be a win-win for everybody. Right. For CNN Money, I'm Steve Hargraves.